Mohammed Badaro, Atiku Bagudu, Kaode Fair Payemi, and others have plotted to impose Senator Sani Musa and others as national chairman escorts to satisfy their selfish interest of projecting Badaru to fire me ticket for 2022 presidency. Merely brobeat and coerce delegates to rubber stamp the criminal decisions they have taken. One that would undermine the 2023 general elections because the party's internal democracy in the APC would have been bastardized. Nigerians will be deprived of having an APC presidential election uh, candidate that passed the rigors of primary election. Governor Mohamed Badaru, as I've just said before, Abaka of Jigawa State, Governor Kayode Payemi of Ekiti State, Governor Atiku Bagudu of Kepi State, and other desperate allies that include serving ministers have perfected plans to ensure that Senator Sani Musa is imposed as a peace national chairman, alongside other lackeys that will be named to their position at the convention. Senator Sani Musa would in turn deliver Bagudu as an APC presidential flag bearer and Kaode as his running mate. They have cooked up what they call unity list, very funny, to package their evil plot as something positive and desirable for the party and the country when the country contrary is in the case. We want APC stakeholders and Nigerians to know that these state governors are working against the interest of the country. As things stand, we are collectively staring a full-blown state capture in the face at this band of governors paid a nocturnal visit to the presidential villa last Friday night with their purported unity list. Thank you, Mr. President. The, the due process man, that's why I have confidence in this man's administration, that they are now desperately promoting. At this point, it is fair to point out that the Attorney General of this Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abaka Malami, is with them, alongside a few unpatriotic ministers that are equally playing the overlords in states that are not controlled by the APC.